So just as Yeezy and Adidas parted ways, Nike swooped in and copied one of their most popular shoes. Or at least that's what everyone is saying. So of course, I had to buy a pair to find out if that's really true and if they're any good. This is the Nike Calm Slide, which has a whole lot in common with the Yeezy Slide. I mean, even a lot of the upcoming colorways of this model share a lot of resemblance to the Yeezy Slide colorway. Not to mention the box they come in is all over plain cardboard with just one Nike logo engraved into the top. Of course, having a cardboard shoebox is not just a Yeezy thing, but when it's wrapped up and these things are inside, it does make you think a little bit. Now, we already know how Kanye reacts to people copying his slide design. I mean, just to remind you guys of what happened when Adidas made the Adilat 22, well, that was the beginning of the end for the entire Yeezy and Adidas collaboration. You know what? I'd kind of argue that these look more similar to a Yeezy slide than those Adilat 22s did. But with that being said, this is not the first time that a company has been accused of copying the Yeezy slide, at least by the public. And every single time it's met with people that think that that company is copying copying Yeezy, and then you have the other side of people arguing that it's a slide, and how many different ways can you actually make a pair of slides? Now, while that's definitely true, the Yeezy slide somehow managed to become a revolutionary piece of footwear that is really simple. Like, it's literally just a piece of foam. When you compare these two slides side by side, well, that's when the similarities start adding up. The material, the thicker strap, the minimalistic look. I mean, Nike didn't really get the memo about minimalistic branding. I mean, unlike the Yeezy Yeezy slide and most Yeezys with hardly any branding. Nike just couldn't help themselves on these, so they did add a Nike swoosh to that strap. It's just kind of engraved into the foam, and then on the footbed of the shoe, you've got a giant Nike swoosh. But hey, Nike loves their brand. And I think a big part of why people look at this pair of slides and immediately compare it to a pair of Yeezys is because Nike really hasn't made anything exactly like this before. If you look on their website, for the most part, their slides look very, very similar. It's either a two-piece construction with a strap and a midsole. It's only to more recently that they started experimenting with different types of foam shoes, whether it's the Hex Mule or the Jordan Post Slide. Now that they're releasing this foam pair of slides, it definitely is a little bit more of an outlier on their website. It's also a much chunkier design than you're typically used to seeing with Nike slides. A lot of them are very sleek and slender. I think that's definitely another similarity between the Nike Calm Slide and the Yeezy Slide, just how thick and chunky they are. And I think that that was really a standout feature of the Yeezy Slide. The footbed on the Nike Calm Slide is definitely different to a Yeezy Slide. It's not completely completely smooth, you can see that there's all of these engraved lines running down the entire footbed. When I actually put my foot into the Nike Calm Slide, it was actually a relatively similar experience I have to when I put Yeezy Slides on. Because the strap going over the top is actually pretty narrow and it feels pretty tight. You actually kind of have to work your foot into the pair of slides. But I think one of the biggest differences between the Nike Slide and the Yeezy Slide is the fact that this is not a one piece of foam construction. It has the top, but it also has an outsole glued underneath. And this outsole actually actually acts like a regular outsole that you would find on a pair of shoes. It provides traction and I guess durability for long-term wear. It's a much harder rubber material and it actually feels pretty solid. Like there is no squish to it, unlike the upper, which is a much softer foam. Another big difference between the Nike and the Yeezy slide is the price tag. These only retail at $50 or 45 pounds here in the UK. Whereas Yeezy slides are $70 or 60 pounds here in the UK. So if you wanted to compare them in that aspect, these are definitely a lot cheaper and technically you're kind of getting more for your money because you also get an outsole. Now while we're talking about the price tag on these, I will give you guys some release information because uh, they're actually only going to be dropping on July the 14th. Now that's the global release for all of the different colorways. However, two colorways are available right now, I believe just for the EU, the black colorway and this uh, kind of tealish color. Guys, I've got some good news for you. Represent has just opened their vault, meaning you can find some insane items at a discounted rate. Now, this doesn't happen often, so some pieces will definitely sell out quick. Some of my personal recommendations would be the floral shirt. It's a lightweight, oversized shirt with a flowing fit, which is going to be a go-to for summer and vacation. The more subtle Storms in Heaven shirt is my personal favorite because you can dress it up or down. And it's made from 100% visco, so it is insanely comfortable. Now, you can't go wrong with the bag denim carpenter jeans, especially in the classic dust blue color. These are just great for your everyday rotation. The Destructive Appetite hoodie is also a big favorite of mine with the dope graphics and like all represent hoodies, next level quality. The sizing, I stick to my true to size with all of these, but I will add some extra sizing information down in the description. Now there's plenty of other incredible pieces in the vault, so go and see what you can find, whether you're getting ready for summer or just want some everyday additions to the rotation. Keep in mind, the vault doesn't stay open for very long. It will be closing soon. So use the links in my description to check 
check it out. And a massive thank you to Represent for sponsoring today's video. And you already know how much I appreciate you guys using my links when I have them. It helps out the channel big time. But with that, let's get back into the video. Okay, so how do these stack up and compare to a Yeezy slide when it comes to comfort? Because in my opinion, that's the main reason why I like Yeezy slides, because they're so comfortable. And it's also something that in my opinion, no other brand has been able to replicate the soft, squishy feel and just the overall comfort of wearing a pair of Yeezy slides. Well, unfortunately, Nike hasn't really replicated it either. I mean, I honestly thought Nike being the leaders in footwear cushioning technology would have come up with something insanely cloud-like and squishy, but uh, that's it's not really the case with this pair of slides. Now, just to be clear, these are still very comfortable and probably one of the most comfortable Nike slides I've ever tried. I mean, they feel pretty good on foot. They're just not up there with the same level of comfort that you find with a pair of Yeezy slides. This foam that Yeezy has used on this pair of shoes is just insanely soft and you really feel that underfoot. Whereas this foam that they've used on the Nike slides is still soft, but it's definitely not as soft as the Yeezy slide. Now, something that I thought was pretty nice and added to the comfort of these Nike slides was the extra arch support that you have in the footbed of this shoe. As soon as you slide your foot in, you instantly feel it. And potentially another benefit from the Nike Calm slide is the fact that they're made from a more slippery foam material, whereas the Yeezys have a very grippy texture to them. When I slide my foot into the Nike slides, my socks don't bunch up like they do on the Yeezy slides. And if I'm not wearing socks, well, it feels less grippy on my skin in comparison to the Yeezy slide. Now, for anybody who's wondering about sizing on these Nike slides, well, it seems like they're a lot more accurate than Yeezy slides. I got my true to size and they fit just fine. As most of you know, Yeezy slides are a lot more inconsistent when it comes to sizing and are at least a size up for most people. I do like the idea of having an outsole on a pair of slides just for durability and the fact that you can wear these in different terrains and still have grip, but it does add a lot more weight to this pair of slides. It doesn't feel as light as the Yeezy slide. In fact, I haven't weighed them, but I would guess that these weigh a lot more than the Yeezy slides do. Overall, after trying out these new Nike Calm slides, I gotta say it's a pretty compelling option as a slide. I mean, I like Yeezy slides, so obviously I'm a fan of the thicker, chunkier designs. They do provide a decent amount of comfort on foot. They've got nice arch support. They are relatively affordable. But if ultimate comfort is what you're after, then the Yeezy slides, I believe, are still on top things are literally something you can wear all day long without ever getting tired of them day in and day out and they only kind of get more comfortable with time. The foam gets softer, they loosen up a little bit. So yeah, in terms of comfort, Yeezy and Adidas have created something that is really like nothing out there. Something that I've heard a lot of people say, which I thought was pretty funny, is the irony of how quick Nike is to throw out lawsuits to any brand infringing on their designs or taking inspiration from their designs. However, this is definitely not the only case where Nike has copied or taken inspiration from another brand's design. They do it pretty liberally. Either way, guys, it's a very interesting slide to take a look at. I mean, Nike's dropping them right in time for the summer. I mean, now that Yeezy and Adidas are over, and once Adidas finishes off releasing all of the different Yeezy slides that they have in their warehouse, that's pretty much it. So the question I have for you guys, and I want to hear it down in the comment section, is uh, did Nike make the new Yeezy slide? Appreciate you guys coming through and hearing your thoughts down in the comment section, and hey, if you want to catch up on what I think is the 10 best sneakers that have dropped here in 2023 so far. That video's right over there.